What's going on guys, RiceGrispy94 here, bringing you another mini painting video. This time we are going to be painting a null flesh gnawler. So let me go ahead and load up the mini cam here. There you guys can see it in its full glory. Bring the light down a little more. Toasted. There we go. So this is definitely going to be a fun one to paint. Uh, if you aren't familiar with what exactly a null flesh gnawler is, go over to my channel, check out the Monster Corner playlist, and watch the very first Monster Corner episode, and you can find out all you need to know about the Null Flesh Gnawler. Very excited to paint this one. Um, it's going to be a lot more skin tone, less armor, pretty cool knives. These are very vicious uh, sub... Oof, the light is a little too much there. A vicious subspecies of Null. And I can't wait to finish this one up. So let's get to the painting.
Alright guys, so we are here. The mini is finished. I'll go ahead and hold it up for you guys. Uh, this one, I think, is probably my favorite of the gnolls that we've done so far. Uh, again, this is a gnoll flesh gnoller. It is not a basic gnoll. It does have its own stat block. Um, so if you want to know more about that, go ahead and check out the Monster Corner Episode 1 self-plug. Don't care. It was a really cool thing, and it started a really great series. Um, Alright, let's talk about the figure. So he's got the rusty knives, and I really like how they turned out. You can still see some of the sh silver coming through as I turn. Uh, the gold, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be some armor or what, but I really like how it turned out, especially after the brown wash was added. Uh, the chest details are really hard to see, but the fingers that are hanging from the necklaces are all painted that kind of rotten green flesh that the hand is. Um, the bandages turned out like every other bandage, just perfectly. Uh, the red on the cloth turned out well. The brown leather turned out well. Uh, I just I love how everything on this figure turned out. Let's see here, even its face turned out really well. The nose, the teeth. Uh, let's, let's look at the the hair. It had a lot more hair than the others, so I think it. See, ooh, the, the knife looks really good in that position. Uh, the grass didn't turn out not as like the others. Let me grab one of these for comparison here. There's the the axe wielder, and see the the, the grass. Maybe I applied it a little heavier than what I did here, but I actually like how that is more. It's just very faint mold. Uh, the skin tone is should be the same and this one might be a little lighter i might have went a little lighter there um oh well still looks good the shadow wash turned out really well on this one uh, and i think it's because there's a lot more gray to it so the shadow washer is really able to come through i wish there you can kind of see it uh very hard to paint there's a little bit of gold there the leather strap that goes around but yeah that's uh it's gonna do it for this one guys so let's, let's get some gnolls in here so you guys can see them all right the knoll army is coming together we got a flesh gnoller an axe wielder a spearman we'll be right back for the final knoll uh, maybe the final we'll see we'll see uh, this is the Knoll Leader, though. Two hand axes. He's going to be super fun to paint. He's very fuzzy. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to do him in the gray or mostly in that brown and then just a little bit of gray. So, yeah. Um, very excited to do him. That'll be the next one. So, until then, I will catch you guys later. Peace. Peace.